What is up, Brooke Landers? It's your boy, Mr. Potato Head. And today I'm talking about worst movies of the year lists. Let me paint you a picture. Every year you see it, right? These are the 10 best movies, the top 15 movies of the year. And you're like, wow, it's a pretty good list. And then a few days later, your favorite influencer, your favorite, you know, cousin or someone like that, they upload a video, top 10 worst movies of the year. And every single year I see these lists come out, I also see people kind of get mad about it. And they're like, man, top 10 worst lists are messed up. What is wrong with you guys? So yes, I know what you're all thinking. I'm the guy that's gonna give you the, all the answers because that's what I do here, I give answers. Just like everything in life, it all comes down to intention. I think that you have to ask yourself, why are you making this list? Why should this list exist in the world? A lot of times, if you're saying, if you're making this list to say, hey, you know, Ant-Man Quantumania was bad. Shazam Fury of the Gods was bad. You shouldn't go and see it. It's a waste of your money. It's a little too late. Okay, we all know. Realistically, you're not saving anybody from going to see Shazam or Ant-Man to go and see these films that you didn't like, that weren't that good, that are maybe universally regarded as uh, garbage. So at some point, it kind of feels like you're just, you know, just the nail in the coffin, dude. It's just like, man. And also, when we're talking about bad movies, people, it sometimes it seems very, I don't want to say negative, because, I mean, the movies are bad, but also it's like, man, this person sucked in that movie. And the writers, what were they thinking? A bunch of idiots? That was stupid. Don't get me wrong. It very well might be true. That very well might be the case. But like, what is gained from that? How does that help the world in any way? Aside from like, you know, just putting people down. I'm sorry, maybe I'm too positive to make this video. Maybe I'm trying to be a nice happy guy, okay? But if you haven't caught on by now, I don't like the worst films list, I'm just saying. I think that film criticism in general, a lot of people are negative, like a lot, you know? And they want to hate things and they want to turn that against people. And I think a lot of times worst lists just further that agenda of negativity. And I personally, again, I don't think we should be putting negativity in the world and we don't have to, okay, but maybe that's just me. And I'm not saying that films can't be criticized. I'm not saying that bad films shouldn't be called out because that is far from true. Bad films have to be called out in order for us to get better films and for those filmmakers to learn from their past mistakes and make better products, products that we all can enjoy together in the future. But like I said, at the end of the day, these lists aren't really saving any. Like what was another bad movie from this year? Exorcist Believer, right? I don't think anyone's on the fence about like, man, all this time, it's been out for months. I don't know, should I watch Exorcist or not? Is it good or not? No, everyone knows that it's not that good. And if anything, just do a quick Google search. You, it's not hard to see that a lot of people don't like this movie and you probably won't either. That's just my take. I am really curious to see what you people have to say. Maybe you like the list. Maybe you think they're good for the society of film fans and just people in general, but I don't know. It just feels like a little strange. It feels like, and again, these people already know that they made a bad product, right? The people already are aware that they effed up. So we don't got to come back and be like, hey, of all the movies this year, which again, no one sees every movie. There's no way these are the real worst movies of the year. No one's gonna be like, of all the movies, these ones are the worst. Yours was the worst. You sucked the most. Like imagine if other industries did that. That's kind of crazy. It's like, you know, top 10 worst air airline pilots of the year. Your plane crashed, idiot, stupid. You couldn't save all those lives. You jabron. Maybe that's an extreme example, but I think it got my point across. Thanks so much for watching. I make a new video every single day. Subscribe for more videos. And let me know what you think of the worst list. I actually am really curious. So thanks, bye.